Day, Herbalist Viola. Look, what I'm about to do, I'm about to record my podcast. <laughs> so you'll see me report my podcast. Okay, but, listen, but the, hear the whole message. You're going to have to go to the podcast because I'm only going to do parts of this video and get the information from the podcast. Yes, I'm trying to get more people on the podcast because I do the podcast every day. And I'm probably do less and less videos. It depends on my schedule. Just depends on my schedule because it's a lot of distractions. A lot of us are distracted, and they're distra you're, These distractions are on purpose. Look, they're on purpose. So, just want to make sure I put it out there that these distractions are on purpose. So, don't think that, and and you'll learn more about the distractions on the podcast and then I got a special announcement just something that I'm doing and I don't want you to miss it but you got to listen to the podcast yeah you'd be like I don't want to see a podcast but that's the only way you get the information if you really want to get all the information go to the podcast because I get the emails and it's easy for me to do a podcast than it is for me to shoot a video because I got to edit and all the other stuff so here I'm going to go ahead and hit record on my on my podcast so just so you know just just, just telling you. All right, I'm about to get. Hey, family, Herbless Viola, Very Wise Alternatives Podcast. Sending you guys good vibrations, good healing. I appreciate you guys listening to my podcast. Yes, I am recording it. So part of this is going to be on the YouTube and part of it's when well, you know the rest is going to be on the podcast. But look, there's so many distractions. I know I want to answer the subscriber question. One of the subscribers wanted to know what, I mean, I talk about it all the time. Y'all know I talk about microbiome. It comes up here, it comes up there. And I'm always talking about this microbiome. They're like, what is the microbiome? Look, like I said again, I'm going to say it again. The microbiome is just a community of microorganisms in your body. You know, they find your body they're mainly in your gut, you know. It's really made, it's made of fungus, bacteria, and viruses. So if you, um, if you think about, if you think about your body and what it's made of uh, and the functions and all that other stuff, like I said, when your microbiome's off, you know, when it's off, what happened with those, to those, uh, those viruses? What happened? <laughs> You end up getting the infection if it, you know, if you get extra mucus or if the, you know, microbiome's out of whack, especially when you don't have, like I said, a specific type of microbiome. And that's just the, um, the ones that break down nutrition. Let's say if your microbiome's been wiped out because you don't eat certain types of food, like I was saying, like, you know, I'm going to say it over and over again. Imagine your daily meal. So imagine your meal. So breakfast, you had grits, eggs, bacon, you know, orange juice. You know, you just drank orange juice, the store-bought orange juice, not the freshly squeezed orange juice. You bought store-bought orange juice. I'm leaving it there. I'm Look, y'all know me. I'm going to leave it there. But you bought store-bought orange juice. Out of that store-bought orange juice, you know all the sodium and all the sugar contents in there. Okay, so you had grits, eggs, you had the biscuits, you had all that stuff. Yes, you put a little gravy, I mean, a little jelly on there, or you had biscuits, I mean, you had gravy on your biscuits, but, and let's go to lunch. So during your lunch, you had a sandwich where it was just, you know, bread, even if it's whole wheat bread, it had bread, and then you had your meat on there. You know, you had your bologna, or you had a hot dog, or, you know, you had the meat lovers, and you put extra, extra meat on there, and you put... You know, a little bit of lettuce and tomatoes. Like I said, lettuce. And maybe one tomato, you had a cucumber, but maybe you took the tomato off. You know, this is this is how we do. Come on. This is the average, you know, well, how we eat. <laughs> yeah, y'all already know how we eat. And then dinner, yes. I know I spoke about this on a podcast, but I'm doing a video, so this is gonna be on YouTube. But on the vi on, on on um at dinner, what you had, you you either having, you know, pork chops or chicken or fried chicken or you know just the normal meal some turkey some gravy hence then you had your vegetable you had a little bit of vegetable because you're not kids i ain't eat no peas they eat a little bit of peas and they eat a little bit of broccoli so just think so you had all that meal and then like snacks you know you had some chips and you know a piece of cake or some donuts how many times you heard me say a fruit you didn't hear me say no fruit and this is our basic this is the average person this is how we eat you know this is how we've been eating especially all these box stuff and cereal and all these other you know 
stuff that's in the middle of the supermarket, not the outside, not the outside. Y'all know meats on the outside, but look, we're not going to get in there. But we're talking about all the food from the inside. We quick to pick up these quick instant stuff and make, but just think about, we're talking about your microbiome. So the microbiome, if you're eating all this, how you think the fungus is reacting? How you think your, your, um, the bacteria is reacting? How you think the, the, the virus, just so you know, the phone is right here. And this is the recorder. So I'm trying to make sure I'm by here by the recording. I got the, the microphone here and the microphone here. So y'all be patient. Okay. So just imagine what's going on with the viruses. Oh, make a light noise. So with the viruses, let's say if something's off, don't you think you can like, get an infection over, you know, mess up your body. And what I mean by if you're only eating a little bit of vegetables, let's say out of that whole meal, you only ate a little spoonful of peas. So your body's going to produce more microbiome to tear down the meats, the breads, you know, the oils. So your microbiome is going to, you know, increase that. And then your vegetables, the one that gives you nutrients, like I keep telling you, the one that gives you the nutrients so you can have, <laughs> so you can break down and absorb instead of say, oh, this is foreign. So it's going to go into your intestines, you know, goes down. Yeah. I remember when I talking about the digestive, you chew it up, you swallow it, it goes down. So when it goes where the microbiome and, you know, all the good bacteria and the bad bacteria, which you don't want the bad bacteria. But when you do that, what you think happens? Your body creates less and less of that microbiome, of less than that bacteria. That's why you hear me keep saying, increase probiotics, increase um, your, you know, your micro, I mean, increase your, I keep, <laughs> this is what I be cutting out of my videos. That's why, I, look, see, see? Y'all getting it raw. But this is the main reason why I tell you when you want to increase your probiotics and prebiotics, make sure you're doing fermented foods, the vegetables, and take a supplement. So you can have a balance because you want the fungi, the bacteria, and the viruses that's in your body that's com that's made up of the microbiome. You want that, you know, you want the building blocks. You want it uh, balanced. Right now when it's off balance, it you know, it messes up the fungus in your body, the fungi, it messes up the bacteria in your body and it causes viruses. And instead of those viruses being, you know, healthy, because look, we pass viruses back and forth. I hope y'all know that. I hope y'all know the bacteria, uh, fungi, we pass that back and forth to each other, you know, but just talking about the microbiome. When your microbiome's off and you your body is not producing the correct microbiome that breaks down fruits fruits and vegetables and you don't have any, how are you going to get that nutrients in your body? And that's all I was trying to say. That's what's clear with the microbiome. But back to the distractions, the, the things what we're distracted of that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I'm going to... Um, just talk a little bit. We see what's going on in today's society. We already know what holiday this is. We already know what's happening on Thursday. We already know what's happening on Thursday. And this is what I want you guys to increase. <laughs> increase the vegetables. Have less meat. I know you don't want to hear that. I know you don't want to hear that. Like, I'm having my ham. I'm having my turkey. I'm having my chicken. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I got it. But if you're eating the ham, the chicken, and the turkey... And you got a little bit of collard greens. I know some people are like I got a big plate of collard greens, but what you think your body's gonna produce? You know, break down first. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. But it's a lot of distractions. All I'm saying is this Thanksgiving. I know y'all probably already bought your food, but and I should have put this video out on Friday. I know I should have put this video and told it Friday, so you be like, oh, I already got paid. The the, the foods I always bought, but have it later. You know, we in this demic. We in this shutdown. Yeah, look. We not in a shutdown, but y'all know all, all our, some of our other sisters and brother uh, countries are in a shutdown. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know it's a shutdown. You know, we're being distracted and we don't need to be distracted. We don't need to be distracted. But look, I'm going to end the video. So you guys, if you want to hear the rest of this uh, podcast, <laughs> rest of this video, you got to go on the podcast. So I'm going to end right now. So right now I'm just uh, stopping. Stopping the recording. All right, family, you guys. See you later. <laughs>
<laughs> Peace. Herbless Viola. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.